Pulse Championship Wrestling is back. Everybody, welcome to this month's tournament, PCW Kicks Out. PCW Kicks Out because we're kicking out of retirement, baby. If you were in the PCW tier at any point from January all the way to June, just one singular time in between those times, those dates, those months, you will be in this tournament. Of course, if you signed up after I, you know, made the video, then maybe you weren't, but you get the point. If you want to join PCW for yourself next month, all you have to do is check the description. There's a link. It should be near the top. You can click it, read all the information you need to know. PCW, baby. It's the hottest thing around. Anyways, I hope that you guys will enjoy this, and now let's get into this tournament. Oh, here it goes, baby. Kenta Kobashi versus Minoru Suzuki. Kobashi representing six past Cody Suzuki representing Mr. Weston and Kobashi's already going to town with them chops straight to the neck of Suzuki. Nice body slam sends them to the mat. Nice. Ooh, look at these little shoot takedowns from Suzuki. Of course, they ain't going to go nowhere because once again, you're facing Kenta Kobashi. You're going to have to try a little harder than that, Suzuki, but I truly believe Suzuki can beat him here if he tries hard enough. Just a one count off that headbutt. Kobashi goes in, runs into that barbed wire, and that's going to be the big story for a lot of these matches. Up goes that man, Suzuki. Gets taken down. Nice headbutt again. Doesn't go for the pin. Kobashi gets up in time. Heel hook here and locks it in. There's no rope break. Not like there is a rope break in PCW anyways. Oh, baby. The chop to the back of the neck. And the man's going in. Shoot, takedown. Turns it into a heel hook once again. The man is all up in there. Center of the ring now is Kobashi. Sends Suzuki into that barbed wire. Pinfall just a one off the barbed wire. Suzuki back to the headbutt. And now we got ourselves a strike contest. Back and forth. Down he goes. Suzuki picks him up. Big penalty kick. Just a two, Kobashi able to kick out. Brings him over. What does Kobashi got planned here in the corner? Nothing much. A Suzuki will turn it into an arm bar. Center of the ring. Ref James is asking. Doesn't look like he's going to give up just yet. Forearm takes him down. Heel hook once again. I mean, if you hit the heel hook enough times, there is a chance. Wait a minute. Burning hammer. <laughs> is that going to be enough? No, just a two off the burning hammer? Damn, okay. Back drop driver from Suzuki, but he's back to his feet. Rapid fire punches from Minoru Suzuki into the barbed wire. The boys are going at it early. Kobashi back into that barbed wire, and you know that's got to be taking its toll here. Again into the barbed wire. Pulls him over. Big knee to the midsection. He's getting into the sugar walls. Look at this man's sugar walls. This is crazy. Back to his feet. Octopus hold here. The stretching him out real good. Oh, he gave up! Minoru Suzuki is moving on! And now we got Bray Wyatt and Jeff Hardy. Bray Wyatt in his new gimmick. Look at this. He's got the mask on everything here. Jeff Hardy representing Jordan J. Bray Wyatt representing Dylan M. And you know it's hardcore, so both these dudes are in their element. Well, I guess Jeff more so than Bray. Bray maybe if there was some, like, maggots in the bottom of the ring or something, some, some LED board stuff, or I don't know. Maybe he had some silly stuff like that. Maybe he'd be a little more... Maybe Jeff Hardy actually has the upper hand in this one. We'll see how things play out. Jeff going straight for the head of Bray Wyatt. Maybe trying to take that mask off. Trying to go for a Rana pin. Maybe going to be turned into a power bomb there by Bray Wyatt. Midsection kick caught by Bray, who is looking great. Big Leliato tries to send him into the corner. Jeff looking for a suplex. Going to get reversed. Bray Wyatt's got the upper hand here. He is going to town. Bray Wyatt is feeling re-energized since getting this new gimmick. Front missile drop kick sends him down. Jeff is calling for him. Maybe he wants that twist of fate. See what he decides to follow up with. He's got the face paint on and full gimmick here. Another front missile drop kick to the back of the head. Camel clutch here as he grabs the neck and pulls back on Bray Wyatt. A punch in the midsection. Looks like his head might have hit that steel chair there. Oh, belly to belly suplex sends him to the mat. Pulls Jeff out, pulls him back up. Into the barbed wire goes Jeff Hardy. Bray Wyatt's having a field day, sister Abigail. Oh, and Bray beats Jeff, and he moves on. This man's got the pants. Look at this. Okay. Look at this as we got Luke Harper and Edge going head-to-head. -head. Luke Harper got the muscles out. This man is crazy. He's got the jeans and the muscles out. Edge representing Dean L. Harper representing Logan S. Going for the Lariat early. Not going to happen. Edge stuffs him with a DDT. Goes for the pin. Oh, Edge able to stop himself before he goes right into that barbed wire. Luke Harper goes for the kick. Edge picks him back up. Forearm here, back and forth. Both men so equally matched. Luke Harper, he's actually booked here in PCW. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that wild and crazy, people? Edge pulls him up for the suplex. Gets him down. 
Big punch here. Throws him down with the forearm. Smash to the neck and into the barbed wire goes Luke Harper. He's going to put those jeans in the maximum overdrive. Luke Harper, Lelia Dawson's edge to the floor. Side rush and leg sweep, edge answers back. Rated off, superstar. Oh, Luke Harper using the strength. Able to reverse edge and get the suplex where he wanted it to be. Now we got a back and forth. If I had to take a guess, Luke Harper might, yeah, Luke Harper's gonna do it. He's got him up, sidewalk, slam, singe, edge to the map, but edges back up before you can even blink. Sends Luke right into that barbed wire. Nice belly to back suplex from Luke as he's able to get out of whatever Edge had planned for him there. Wait a minute, butterfly suplex from Luke Harper. Sends him wide open. Edge might be looking for that spear. You know that's bad news. Oh, he did the deal, the Falcon's arrow. 2.9, 2. 2. nobody kicks out of the Falcon's arrow. Edge of the lay on his hockey elbow. Butterfly suplex from Luke Harper. He's stringing some moves together here. Luke is looking quite good. Oh, light two banana, it's getting crazy. Oh, Dr. Wiley's bomb! Just a 2.9, but it's on the light two and it explodes. Luke Harper, baby, he's doing some stuff here. DDT center of the ring from Edge. Throws him into the corner, straight into that barbed wire. Again into the barbed wire. Picks up the edge and the discus, Lelia. Just a two? I thought that was gonna be it, to be honest with you. Targets the head of Luke Harper. Edge with a big Leliato of his own. Throws Harper into the barbed wire. He's stringing some stuff together here. Side rush and leg sweep. Edge might be leaving for the end of this match. Throws him up. Big sit up power bomb from Edge. Just a 2.9. Luke Harper escapes. Wait a minute. Another butterfly suplex, and both men are down. Edge is looking a little bit crazy. Discus Leliato. And he got him. Luke Harper is moving on. And now we got Big Bear versus David Arquette. That's right, this man David Arquette making his PCW debut. And look how happy he is to be here. He is happy to see the Bear. The Bear is crazy. Down for the count, just a one. David Arquette actually going to town on the Bear right now. He's putting some meat down on him. I was just kind of surprised by this, to be honest. Usually the Bear just comes in and straight dominates, but David Arquette putting up a fight. Puts him down onto the board, and look at that little time. He's feeling really good. He's happy to be here, man. Oh, schoolboy here from David Arquette. Just a one, but I can I can respect the fact that he even went for it, to be honest. David Arquette now into the barbed wire. He's been in death matches before. Well, one. <laughs> Light tube ready. Big bear. Oh, tries to power bomb at the face wash there from David Arquette. Smart maneuver to get out of that. A bear's gonna get right out of it too. David Arquette is bleeding, people. Can you keep that in mind? Big power bomb from the bear. Big bear splash the combination. This is deadly. No, just a two. We've seen that take out other men in a second. Oh, we got Big Bear onto the light tube. Just a one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's trying to shoot on him. He's trying to shoot on him. Ref James is asking. Oh, he didn't give up. Damn, dude. Body slam from the bear. He's got the full mount once again going for the target. Look at, look at that little that little red mark there on David Arquette's head. You know, you know what Big Bear is going for here. David Arquette with the Leliato. Big Bear spinning bear fist. Dude's crazy. He was, David Arquette's going wild, look at this dude. David Arquette with a forearm in the back of the head of the Big Bear. Oh, you know when Big Bear does that, it gets crazy, the Big Bear splash. Sorry, David Arquette, but you put a good fight, man. And now, Ed, oh, I was about to say Edge, that looks just like Edge. <laughs> Raven, <laughs> what about Raven, dude? Raven versus Kenny Omega. Raven representing Vincent E. Kenny Omega representing Steven S. Mr. Raven had quite a uh, SAFW performance in Fire Pro Promoter Mode when he made his debut. Though he has fallen off just a little bit, he's looking to uh, make a name here in PCW. Kenny Omega drags him out. He's gonna go for the pin early. Kenny Omega, probably uh, from the last like five years or so, probably one of the more popular wrestlers. Raven, of course, just an absolute legend in the biz, brother. He brings down the uh, <laughs> grocery cart full of weapons and you know it's about to get crazy. Oh, he throws him, no way, a reversal. Kenny Omega goes into the barbed wire. Raven looking to follow up. Kenny Omega not gonna let that happen. A big punch to the top of the head, big ramen noodles. Picks Kenny up, drop, toe hold. Raven don't do anything too crazy, but uh, he gets the moves done. And he's definitely gonna use some of these weapons. Suplex sends Kenny down as Raven looks to follow up. Big even flow DDT, is that gonna be enough? Just a two, Kenny Omega able to kick out. He's got that New Japan blood running through him, brother. 
You can be AEW all the one. Oh, you want Kenny, but you know where you came from. Well, DDT, but that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> Raven with another even flow DVD. Is he gonna be able to get the cover here? Two. Just a two. Another one! This dude's going to town! One, two. And just a two again! Kenny able to get out of all of these. Combination here from Raven from behind, maybe looking for that Scorpion death drop, courtesy of that man Sting from WCW. Raven wants the sledgehammer equalizer in hand. He's swinging for the fence. It's not going to happen. Step up in Zagiri from Kenny Omega. He locks him in camel clutch Give style. Give up. Gets out of it. Looks on. Step up in Zagiri one more time. Center of the ring as he looks to get down Raven. You can't, you can't escape. escape. Oh, but Raven said I can. Kenny said no, you can't. And what did you just do? He just ran head first into the fucking exploding barbed wire. This dude's crazy. He a lunatic. Down he goes with the side rush on leg sweep. Raven gonna follow it up, maybe a pile driver. No, Kenny Omega flips him over. Back body drop into a pin, just gets a two. Oh, look at that, he's getting that arm ready. He's got a one winged angel he's looking to get. Deadlift German off the floor. Kenny Omega showing the strength. Big super kick, knock down Raven. Big super kick, number two. A third one? Oh, he goes with the face watch instead. <laughs> Incredible trifecta of moves there from the Ken Omega. Uh oh, Raven's got himself a sledgehammer and he's looking to knock out little geek boys. This little geek's going to town. Raven drops a Leo on Azaki elbow. Big disc is Leliato. And filled the trap. I think, he, I think his, head, his head hit the. Oh! I think his head hit the sledgehammer on that. Into the barbed wire he goes. Raven. Scorpion death drop. One more time, but Kenny said, do it again! Do it again! Here we go. You can't, you escape. can't escape. Raven to his feet. Drop, toe hold, able to stop whatever thing Kenny had planned there. Big baseball bat to the head of Kenny Omega. That's what I'm talking about. Raven drives them. Both men are down here at about 10 minutes. This is pretty long. Cross like Fisherman Buster from Kenny Omega drops Raven. He's going to follow up one winged angel. He's not going to even get the chance. Raven said, look at me. Look at this shirt. Look at these jeans. Jean shorts, baby. Oh, Discus Leliato misses. Back and forth, center of the ring. Kenny Omega and Raven, who will come out on top here. Raven, big discus Leliato. He drops Kenny Omega. Into the corner goes Raven as Kenny has got him up. Christ's wrath. One, two. Just a two. Are you kidding me? How did Raven kick out of that? Face watch from the Raven. Super kick drops Raven down. Shoulder snap dragon suplex. Another one, two in a row. Going for the trifecta, but that kick to the boss from Raven. Oh, he's going to that place. Raven has got the bat in hand. He's going to use it twice right to the spine of Kenny Omega. As Raven looks on, going to catch his breath before we go into the final sprint of this match here. The belly to back suplex sends Kenny Omega to the floor. Throws Raven into the barbed wire in the other corner. Poison Rana from Kenny Omega. He's got him up. You can't escape. But Raven said yes I can. A punch to the midsection from Kenny. From behind, Kreutz Wrath! And he gets some! Kenny Omega is moving on! Kazushka Okada versus bald headed Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Everyone's favorite Shawn Michaels, of course. Kazushka Okada representing Zadok V, Shawn Michaels representing James G. We'll see what bald headed Shawn Michaels can bring to the table against Kazushka Okada. Goes for the pin. No, he's gonna get out of that. See, I don't know. I don't know how this would, I, would you guys think this would turn out different if it was Kazushka Okada versus Willy Wonka, Shawn Michaels? That'd be hard, that'd be a hard one to guess. I don't know. You know, we could talk about hypotheticals all day, but what we do have in the ring right now is Kazushka Okada versus bald headed Shawn Michaels. Two drop kicks back to back. Shawn eats the floor real nice. DDT from Shawn is loose to fire back on the ace. That board's gonna come into play from behind. Cover hold here. He's got it locked in. Nope, nothing's gonna happen there. Spot head Shawn Michaels is able to get out. Got some olive oil on his head. Very smart. Shawn is 3,000 IQ. Goes for the big boot. Not gonna happen. Shawn Michaels. Pow driver onto the exploding bat from Spot head Shawn Michaels. The back and forth now punches landing on both men. Look at that. Shawn actually came up with the upper hand. Center of the ring. Does he want some sweet shim music? A DDT will send him down. Kazushko kind of back to his feet. Maybe Sean's a little gassed. I don't know, man. Could be anything. 
Backbreaker action from Kazuchika Okada. Shawn Michaels puts him back down with the backbreaker. Just a two. Okada able to kick out, but he did land on that board. So has a little extra damage there for Shawn Michaels. Commanding body slam. I thought maybe he was looking to go for the top rope. I'm like, ah, maybe not a good idea. I don't think he can. Into the barbed wire he goes. Bald headed Shawn Michaels picks him back up. Goes to town. Okada drop kick to the legs. Takes out Shawn. Try to stop that sweet shit music, but you can't stop the band. 2.9. Okada kicks out. DDT is bald headed. Shawn Michaels looks to follow up. Goes for the combination punch into the lariat, but it's not going to happen. From behind, Okada's looking for the Rainmaker. He needs to end this match as soon as possible because it's about to get to the point where uh, you start you start deteriorating going into the next round if you win. You want to make these matches as quick as humanly possible. Big sweet shit music from Shawn Michaels. 2.9 2. again. Okada kicks out. The forearm smashes. From behind, German suplex bridge. Right on the net, 2.9. Ref James calls it like he sees it, man. Right down the middle. Does he want the Rainmaker? From behind. No, he goes for the drop kick. Nice diversion. Made him think he was going for the Rainmaker. Then he goes for the drop kick instead. Very smart. But oh, maybe he actually wants it this time. We'll see. Fat breaker from Shawn Michaels is able to stop the momentum. Sends him back down with a belly to back suplex. Picks up the Shawn. German suplex, drop kick to the back of Sean's big ball head. Both men back to their feet. Neither makes that just sweet shit music. 2.9 2. again. Oh, go to the nuts. This dude, Sean, man, he's had enough. He has had enough. Bunch of the back of the head of Okada. <laughs> sweet shit music again. The atomic drop. No, don't go for that, Sean. Don't go for that. Picks up bald head Sean Michaels. Tombstone Pile Driver. He wants his match to end right now, and he's gonna get what he wants. Sean's got Okada up. Does he have another sweet shit music on deck? They haven't worked yet. We'll see if it works this time. No, we're gonna go into a strike contest. Back and forth. Sean, sweet shit music, but Okada with a big boot. Wow! From behind, Cobron! Is he gonna tap? I got him! Okada made Paul and Shawn Michaels tap! Oh, New Jack and Jimmy Wang Yang! <laughs> it's Dickie's Jimmy and New Jack! And you know New Jack is happy to be here in PCW with his barbed wire deathmatch. Body slam, I thought maybe he was gonna go under that light tube, to be honest. Jimmy's at sort of a disadvantage here. He can't use Yang time, but he's got these kicks! I say can't use Jane time because you can't go to the top rope, but uh, things might work out for him. Jimmy Wang Yang representing Mary W. New Jack representing Austin W. And New Jack's going to town. Look at that back of, to the back of New Jack going into a camel clutch. Look at the stretch in those dickies. That's a nice quality pair of pants right there. New Jack's got the steel chair. Ain't no scaffolding or anything crazy in here. New Jack ain't no guns in here. Ain't no rockets. No, New Jack's gonna have to use what he's got in the ring here. It looks like a steel chair and maybe a kendo stick. I'm not too sure. I didn't see what's on the other side of the ring. Nice kick from Jimmy Wang Yang. He's going to go for the pin on New Jack. Not going to happen. And New Jack's got this deal there. You got to watch out. Oh, wait a minute. Go over a Tiger Driver, maybe. New Jack said, no, 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 no. No damn Japanese moves. All you can use is this damn chair. I don't know. I, New Jack doesn't know any actual wrestling moves. He just knows what he knows. Backdrop Driver sends him to the mat. Oh, but the kick to the nuts. He said, I told you none of these damn wrestling moves, dog. I'm gonna use a steel chair and you're gonna feel this wrath. Oh, good for the Death Valley driver. Not gonna happen. Roll through and Jimmy gets a two. Steel chair in hand. Goes to the midsection of Jimmy Wang Yang. Pulls out the man La Mahistra from Jimmy Wang Yang. Not gonna happen. Just a two as New Jack is able to kick out, but he's going straight for the legs. New Jack gets up, chases him down with an overhead smash. Side rush and lace. We are pretty sure New Jack hit that steel chair there. I think I heard it. That's rough. Goes for a drop kick. Oh, I think he hit the steel chair on that move too. It's all he's gonna hit the steel chair anyway. So New Jack's gonna let him have it. Goes for the spinning heel kick out of desperation. Not gonna happen. Drags out New Jack. What does Jimmy have mind? And what's he gonna do here? A kick to the back of the head. That'll definitely do something. Another kick. That's a drop kick. Single leg into a drop kick. And another one. The trifecta from Jimmy Wang Yang. He's bringing anything and everything he's got here. Spinning heel kick to the back of the head, but New Jack no sold the shit out of that. He's a not today. Jimmy gets him up, drop kick, sends down the new of the Jacks. 
Down goes Jimmy as he goes into the barbed wire. New Jack said, that ain't nothing yet. You ain't seen it yet. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, Ron and roll. The Ron and roll through here. And he gets him. Shoulder down. New Jack and Jimmy gets him. No yank time. Aja Kong and the Big E. Now, this is an interesting one for sure. Aja Kong making her PCW debut. I can't remember. Has Big E been in a tournament? If he has, he has. I don't think he's ever done, like, astronomically well. We'll see if he can uh, defeat the newcomer, Aja Kong, or see what happens, period, here. Big E with the Fujiwara armbar. Drags out Aja Kong. What's Big E got in mind? Has he got a big ending? Oh, she went for that spinning back fish. She was looking to take him out early. Aja Kong representing Fisha. Big E representing Pulsano. Big E, oh, going into that barbed wire and the light, dude. That's just a bad combination, my brother. Aja goes out, not gonna happen. Big E with the DDT. Drops a lay on Azaki elbow. Shoulder tackle from Aja Kong, not happening. Big E, nice suplex. Gets Aja Kong up. And look at the palm strikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I like that. Stretch muffler. Yo, Aja Kong is crazy, man. Big E has definitely got his hands full. I'm gonna tell you that much. Goes for the pin. See what he gets, just a one. So he got quite a bit of time here, Biggie. You're going to work her a little bit more. No clue what that was. <laughs> Some sort of back backdrop thing. Backdrop die move. Oh, okay, Biggie. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely a move that'll do something, I promise. Biggie gets her up. Wait a minute. Big ending from Biggie. Let's see if he can pick up the win here. Just a 2.9. Oh, I on kicks out the big ending. And now she's got a baseball bat. It might not be a trash can, but damn if it don't work. And then that thing. I don't know what that will I don't know what that is. Some sort of backdrop thingy. I'll have to figure out the official name for that eventually. A kick to the leg there, Big E. Drops her with the body slam. Oh, the big ending? No power slam here from the big of the E's. Big Leliato drops Asha Kong. Backbreaker action. Lay on Ozaki elbow from Big E. Sins are against the barbed wire. Good combination of moves here. Stringing together a lot of good stuff here. Aja Kong has got to stop the bleeding, but no, not going to happen. Big E, atomic drop, goes from behind. Leliato! And then the thing. <laughs> Die move. Aja Kong into the barbed wire. DDT drops the Aja of the Kongs. Body slam from Big E. Might be looking for that big ending here soon because it looks like Aja's starting to lose a little bit of steam. It would be smart. We'll see if he does such a thing. Aja drops him with the big elbow to the back. DDT puts down Aja Kong. A knee to the midsection from Big E. Picks her up with the atomic drop. Another atomic drop. And a lay on Azaki elbow. <laughs> Big E's crazy. Atomic drop again. This dude's going to town with these atomic drops. Big E, come on now. Forearm smash, sends her to the mat. Get her up. Big ending, center of the ring. Big E goes for the pin. One, two, and he gets her. Big E has defeated the Aja Kong. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, what we got here? Tomohiro Ishii and Alistair Black? Really? Whoop. The hell of a match right here. Tomohiro Ishii representing Johnny C. Alistair Black yeah. representing Battleman 5595. Sharpshooter from Ishii. He's going straight for the legs of Alistair Black, who is known to use his legs for his finishing maneuver, the Black Mass. Another sharpshooter, he locks it in hard. Alistair Black has got to watch out for that, but he's also got to watch out in general for this man Ishii because he will bring the pain when need be. Ishii goes for the pin on Alistair Black. Just a one. Big kicks come down, drops the knee on the man. Alistair still has control of his legs. Things are good for him right now. Ishii throws a chop. You got to watch out for the stone pupper bite 141. Those bite 141 tactics are crazy. Alistair picks him up, big forearm. And the, that's supposed to be an enzigiri. The animation makes no freaking sense to me, but you know what? We call it like we see it. That's just how it be. That is just how it be. Back and forth. And Ishii gets him really quick. That was only like two exchanges. Throws him straight into the barbed wire and looks to follow up maybe a Ishii driller. Oh, nice. Uh, just gets a little forearm there from Alistair Black. Just his elbow almost. The kick from Alistair Black drops Tomohiro Ishii. Ishii stops himself from going into the barbed wire. He does not want to get into that barbed wire. Knees to the midsection from Alistair Black. The combination strikes, lethal strikes here. He's got him up. Ishii driller on Alistair Black. Is he going to go for the pin? Leg hook for Ishii. 2.9. The man's crazy. Combination knee strikes. Alistair Black fires back. 
The man's a striking genius. Look at the combination here. Down goes Ishii off the barbed wire as Black picks him back up. Ishii gonna fight his way back in with an elbow. Chops him straight in the throat. He's got him up. Oh, brain buster from Ishii! But he couldn't get the cover! The late cover from Ishii! And it's just a two. Alistair Black able to kick out! He's got the super kick on deck! Nice body slam. Ishii picks Alistair Black back up. Leliato to the back. Big release German suplex from Tomohiro Ishii. But Alistair Black's back to his feet. Shoot headbutt on this man. From behind, another release German suplex. Ishii is strong. Gamangiri will send him to the ground, but no, Alistair Black's back to his feet. Shoot headbutt from Ishii. From behind the forehand, so he has got a lot of moves in here, baby. Leliato, look at his forearm smashes. The shoot headbutt Ishii has just strung together. This dude's crazy, look at these headbutts. Alistair Black tries to stop the bleeding. Kick to the head there from Black. But no, Ishii's back into it with a Sparta kick to shoot headbutt. Does he win another Brain Buster? Gaman Geary sends him down. Both men are down, the crowd's hot. You hear them right, they're crazy. They're crazy. Ishii. Oh, what is he doing, delayed? Delayed vertical suplex, all the blood rushing to the head of Aleister Black. Into the barbed wire and the light too, that's just bad luck. This is bad luck, Ishii Driller. Is that enough to put him away? And it is, Tomo here, Ishii boys. Nick fucking Gage versus Baby Reigns. Nick Gage making his PCW debut and I really cannot think of a better PCW debut for Nick Gage than a freaking barbed wire deathmatch tournament, man. This is his yard and he's gotta prove it to Baby Reigns. Baby Reigns has said PCW is his yard forever now, but Nick Gage said this is his yard now. See how things turn out between these two big fellas. Nick Gage straight out of prison because those are the only CEWs I could find with Nick Gage out of prison. Baby Reigns representing Craig R. Nick Gage representing Kyle S. That man. He's going for the leg of Roman Reigns. Throws him. Not going to happen. I know Nick Gage has got some weapons in them jorts. Single leg Boston Crab. This is exactly what I thought Baby Reigns was going to do here is try to change the pace of the matchup, you know, make things his way so Nick Gage doesn't get a little too crazy. Because you get Nick Gage, I mean, we got weapons in the ring. You know, we got the whole ring is a weapon in itself, but we got weapons in the ring. We got a whole bunch of stuff here. Nice Boston Crab there. Baby Reigns with a nice little backbreaker. Just going for every little piece of Nick Gage, just breaking them down, just all over the place, man. Baby Reigns is really bringing it. Back and forth, punches coming down. Nick Gage, no, Baby Reigns is gonna get the upper hand on that exchange. Drops him with the legs here. I don't know, maybe he's gonna try to make him tap out with a single leg Boston Crab. I'm not sure what the game plan here is for Baby Reigns, but Nick Gage's game plan is to kill this dude, send him six feet under, you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking send you straight to fucking hell. Nick Gage, oh, he's up for the power slam. Oh, you know what this means. Usually a Superman punch is coming up when you see him cock the fist. Up goes Nick Gage, super, I almost called it a superplex. It is sort of a superplex, because Roman Reigns is kind of a superhero, so we can go with that, for sure. Goes for the knee of Nick Gage. And I knew it, he's got a fork. I knew this man had weapons in them jorts. Gage gets him up, pow, driver, stuffs Baby Reigns, Boston Crab. He said, you wanna go for a single leg? I'll go for a double leg, Boston Crab, I got you. Baby Reigns, once again, trying to slow it down, maybe try to find the weapons that he's got hidden in his jorts. You never know when Nick Gage has gotten them jean shorts, the dude's crazy. Goes straight for the nuts of Baby Reigns as he sends him to the mat. Baby Reigns tries to chase him down, but is met with a DDT. Board in hand, and he just smacked him in the head with the board. His kendo sticks, baseball bats, Nick Gage is crazy. Camo clutch locked in. I'm gonna tell you something right now. You're gonna have a hard time making Baby Reigns tap out. That's, that's, that's probably a route you should not take, to be completely honest with you. That's gonna be a little crazy. Up against the barbed wire goes the man. Cocking the fist up real nice for Nick Gage. Oh, not gonna happen. Nick Gage with a forearm. He's got the board. And he's got the fork. This man wants to take a bite out of Baby Reigns. Baby gets him up, throws a hit to the back of the head. Nice body slam, but Nick Gage is back to his feet. He goes to the Leliato, misses, and he gets in a little, a little bit of a situation with the barbed wire. Brain buster from Nick Gage! 
Is that enough? Rev James down for the count. Just a two count for that one. Again into the barbed wire for Nick Gage. But I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something right now, baby Reigns. He's gonna do a little more than throw this man into barbed wire to make him stay down for the count. Nick Gage follows up, maybe another brain buster. But he cannot get. Oh, he's a little woozy on his feet. But he comes back, brain buster. Nick Gage is crazy. Just two, man. Come on. DDT down goes the baby Reigns. From behind, sends him into the barbed wire. Gage is in full control of this matchup. He's got the equalizer in hand. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Reigns is able to stop him from using that. Form to the back of the head, sends him to the mat. Off the Irish whip, straight into the barbed wire. Oh, he put the middle fingers up in his face. The face wash. And he's got him up. Brain buster from Nick Gage. Oh, just a two again. Drags him out, elbow to the back. Kick right to the balls. Oh, belly to back, sends him backwards. And Roman Reigns is back up to his feet. Strike contest back and forth. Will Reigns come out on top or will Gage send him straight to hell? Big drop kick and he got the upper hand. Reigns didn't get back up. Sidewalk slam, backbreaker, center of the ring. Gage is looking a little woozy, this man's out. Throws baby Reigns into the barbed wire, trying to even things up a little bit. He's still got that choke breaker on deck. DDT sends Reigns to the floor. That board is getting mighty big usage in this match. Reigns again into the barbed wire, 1440. Long match here, power bomb stuffs Reigns. He's gonna kill him, Nick Gage is choking the life out of baby Reigns. <laughs> it's a barbed wire death match, he can do what he wants. This man can do whatever he feels like. A punch there is baby Reigns. Stalks down Nick Gage, but Gage answers with a power bomb. He's got a baseball bat in hand, and he uses it to the back of Baby Reigns. He was looking to kill this dude. Baby Reigns has got to stop them from killing him, because if you die, I'll tell you something right now, Baby Reigns, you know you want to be alive, baby. Up he goes, power bomb again. The middle fingers off the power bomb, and a DDT onto the sledgehammer and the kendo stick. Middle fingers again. Power bomb! Is he gonna go for the... He got him up! Brain Buster from Nick Gage! I'm pretty sure he landed on that board too! And he's gonna kill him, I told you! Nick Gage came in with a game plan, people! Both men are up. I can't believe we're at 18 and we're still going. This is crazy. This is wild and crazy. Wild, crazy, and silly. Nick Gage up, Roman Reigns, no, a big punch in the midsection. Middle fingers are up, but Roman Reigns is gonna stop it again. A big punch barrage here from Roman Reigns. Onto that board. That's not good news for Nick Gage. Leliato from Roman Reigns. He picks up Barry Dodd. Oh my goodness. Roman Reigns picks up Nick Gage. Samoan drop. And I don't think he can go for the pin because he landed on the board. That's just bad luck, sucker man. I don't know what to tell you on that. Drops the knee right here by the board. Stabs him in the neck with that fork. The dude is getting stabbed in the neck. Into the barbed wire, Gage might be looking in this match. Big board to the back of the head. Is he gonna hit him again? No, oh he dies, he gets him again with the board. Middle fingers from Gage, the fork is back. Nick, oh he's going to town. Onto the board, oh my goodness, just the luck of Roman Reigns is crazy. Nick Gage gets backbreakers straight here by Baby Reigns. Oh, he's got him up for a suplex. Both men are down 21-40. He got him up. Brain Buster from Nick Gage. Is that enough to put him away for the three? And it is, but the Hogan kick out. Nick Gage, look at this. And for the final match of this video, we got Bandito versus Pac. Pac representing Hyperwolf, Bandito representing Louis H. Bandito, I believe this is his first PCW tournament. Also, Pac has been out of the tournaments for just a little bit of time. But Bandito making his uh, debut here. Shoulders down for Pac, not gonna happen. We'll see which one of these dudes comes out with the upper hand here. Senton from Bandito. Nice midsection kick from Pac. He hits him with a snap suplex. There's so much blood in the PCW ring, man. Look at all this blood. We'll see Bandito break out some crazy stuff, man. This dude is seriously underrated. Bandito's sweet. If you haven't seen him before, you gotta check him out. You'll probably see a lot of his crazy moves here in, in this in this match, hopefully. Unless Pog puts him down real good. Canadian Destroyer from Bandito! Just a one? Deadlift German suplex from Pog. He can't use the red arrow, but he still does have the rings of Saturn. Step up in Zagiri, drops him down. 
Looks on. Nice flip over Sinton. From behind, another German, but he bridges this one. Look at the feet, man. It's impressive. Drop toe hold from Bandito. And now we got ourselves a strike contest as the men go back and forth throwing punches. Bandito. No, Bandito's going to go down to Pac. He throws that last one. Big midsection punch. Bandito throws a forearm and an arm drag will take him to the mat. Oh, the comic Gary from Pac. Wait, Bandito, Canadian Destroyer. The arm drag follow-up. Punch to the face of Pac. Pac's going to answer with a DDT. Didn't even get a chance to go for the pin. Rings on Saturn is locked in by Pac. Not going to happen. From behind, German suplex bridge. Just a two. Bandito with the arm drag. Canadian Destroyer again! Is that going to be enough to put away Pac? Just a two. Wait a minute, again? No? Oh, high angle sit out! Just a 2.9 Bandito Frankenstein. Pac has got to watch out because these moves are starting to add up. We saw the 2.9 already come out. Frankensteiner again. Into that barbed wire. Pac picks him up. Drop toe hold. Up he goes. Go to sleep from Bandito. One, two. Oh, just a two. Pac's able to kick out. From behind. Deadlift stalling German. Two. With the bridge. Just a two. Goes for the Gamagiri. Not going to work. Throws Pac into the barbed wire. Is that going to be enough to put him away? Two. Just a two. It's not enough. Pac putting the fist up. He's ready to go. German suplex with a little release sauce at the end of that one. No cookbook needed for this man. Throws Bandito. That man just went straight up against that barbed wire. Big explosion party. Drop toe hold into the light tube. That's rough. Backdrop driver by Pac. He's got the sledgehammer. Not going to happen. Nice stall there from Bandito. Throws Pac across. What does he got planned here as he's got him in the corner? Pac back and forth. Forearms from both men. Frankensteiner sends Pac to the mat. Bandito from behind. Nice roll through here. Shoulders down from Pac. And he got him! Bandito does it! 